Hey again. This is actually a continuation of, from a video I just did moments ago that I called Should I or Shouldn't I Become Vegan? Okay. Um, I was just thinking about, you know, the about about ethics, you know, your your own personal ethics, about what's right or wrong, you know. Um, if you say you love something, but then you abuse that thing, or you are a participant, whether directly or indirectly, you know, um, it becomes problematic. You know, when when we don't when we live in the dark, you know, we have an excuse and say, "Well, I uh, didn't know," you know. So I'm going further with um, the topic rega regarding um, whether one should become vegan or not. I was thinking about, you know, labor, human labor. You have people who are smuggled into countries, and um, they they have. Um, they, they, they're being used for various types of work. Some of it is, you know, factory type of work. Others are what they call the sex slave uh, industry, you know, and the like. And um, I'm asking myself this ethical question. Would I... Let's say I knew a particular company or a country has a particular practice of exploitation, you know, uh, whether, you know, they're trafficking people for, um, to do work that is very backbreaking, could be dangerous, you know, dangerous or just cruel. Let's say, you know, the, the products that they make is really nice, and it's so inexpensive, you know, would I, should I buy it, you know, and it's a lot of products that we can get real cheap, you know, and just like with the, that video that I just completed, you know, should I or shouldn't I become vegan, I ask myself this, should I or shouldn't I buy a product, a gadget, knowing that a particular country or employer was responsible for the harm of another person to make that product, you know? In my right mind, you know, in a, in a, in a state of awareness, I wouldn't want to buy that product, you know, or let's, let's say, um, you know, things that are happening in, in the U.S., you know, um, I was thinking about, you know, just like with the video that I just did about the chickens um, that are uh, raised in a factory, they crammed the little um, chickens together and then they remove their beaks. I think they said they burn them off so that they won't peck each other because when you cram in um, living things so close together and they can't move around, they're going to get angry, you know? I start thinking about, you know, these big cities, these uh, urban centers, and they have people who, who are called so-called minorities, uh, whether they be African Americans, Afro-Caribbeans, um, Hispanics, you know, and the like. That oftentimes we live in these urban centers, we, we live in close quarters, and it's, it's a lot of violence in these communities. And I'm thinking about, you know, I'm, I'm thinking about the chickens and how they're being, you know, how they're fighting and everything and all the fighting that happens in these um, urban centers, you know. 
And um, like the chicken, they're put in the, those in that environment, and they have no choice with where they live. And the outcome is the same for those those chickens. You know, they once they get in there, they they know that the time is up. And so what happens? They're fighting and all that. So I just started thinking about, you know, how it pairs or parallels with what happens in these urban centers. You know, um, you have with the you know gangs and all this fighting. Or look at the, the the schools, the high schools and junior high schools, elementary schools, middle school. They're fighting. Just like those chickens, because they know instinctively that their time is up, that um, life wants to hold them back. Life is grooming them for another institution called prisons. And, um, wow. <laughs> wow. Should I support a, a, a society that does this, you know? And how do I how do I stay out of it? How how do I not promote, you know, maltreatment? When I go to restaurants, should I ask the establishment how many you know, do you have people who may not have their papers to lawfully work here? Or are they getting paid the legal wage if someone is a um, a document, you know, someone who is lawfully um, able to work here in the U.S. or even someone who's born here, who's working here, you know. You know, in, in the city, I see all these, um, these, what do you call it, ratings. It's based on their clean, cleanliness, you know. You see A, B's and, you know, so on. Maybe they should start having ratings. How many of these companies, these restaurants, uh, how, you know, what percentage of them hire people who are not lawfully uh, eligible to work in those places? You know, I think they should start having that. That's more impressive, I think. You know, you know, we all want to have a, a clean establishment, but. Clean ethics, too, you know, about employment. So, um, just like I wouldn't want to promote someone to, to encourage illegal migration. And what I mean by that, I mean like, what could happen sometimes? You, you have people in countries, and they may take them forcibly. And then drive, you know, bring them into the U.S. from all different borders. You know, it doesn't have to be so-called south of the of the border. It could be from the Pacific Ocean or the Atlantic or above, above us. They could come from anywhere, labor, and um, they could be forcibly put put brought here and forced to do things, or or sometimes they might trick individuals. They say, hey, you know, um, I could send you to the U.S. and you make a lot of money or oh, you can, you know, do hair, you know, the hair business, the nail business is so big, you know, oh, you make a lot of money and you can bring money home to your family, blah, blah, blah. And then they get here to the U.S. and then their passports are, are taken away and they're being beaten or, you know, um, threatened that if they don't perform, you know, they, they're going to get, you know, something bad's going to happen to them. Maybe we should start asking questions about these establishments too. The hair business, you know, especially the hair weaving business and the uh, nail business in these big cities, you know. They should be rated too, you know. I don't want to promote anything that's going to cause harm to any human being either, you know. The, the same as with uh, little animals, or, or any animal, big or small, you know. 
So this is just food for thought for me, you know, as I walk this spirit journey. So take care. Bye-bye.